This is ABC 7 News at 5. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. Our top story this afternoon, a major turning point in the campaign of presumptive Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. The FBI director saying he is not recommending charges be brought against Clinton. ABC's Megan Hughes is live in Washington. Good afternoon. Today's announcement lifting a veil of uncertainty ahead of a big Clinton campaign stop, but it's also giving her critics plenty of fodder. Word from FBI Director James Comey, he's recommending Hillary Clinton face no charges for her use of a private email server while Secretary of State. No reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. This, the same day Hillary Clinton and President Obama headline a rally in Charlotte. Their first campaign stop together since the president gave his endorsement a month ago. But Clinton's troubles are far from over. Comey had harsh words about how the emails were handled, contradicting one of Clinton's key assertions. I did not email any um, classified material to anyone on my email. 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. He also said it's possible hostile actors could have accessed the system. Any reasonable person in Secretary Clinton's position or in the position of those with whom she was corresponding about those matters should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation. Donald Trump seizing on the criticism, tweeting, the FBI director said crooked Hillary compromised our national security. No charges. Wow. In just a couple of hours, Donald Trump will be appearing in the same state. He's holding an event in Raleigh, North Carolina. Megan Hughes, ABC News, Washington. Back to you. All right, Megan, thank you. Here on the Sun Coast, we spoke to, the, spoke to those on both sides of the issue today. ABC 7's Kate Flexter joins us with that reaction now. Kate? That's right, Scott. Certainly a topic of conversation for both the Democratic and Republican parties locally. The Democratic Party says that this confirmed what they already thought was true. They also say this clears the path for Clinton to pursue more important issues. The members of the Republican Party say this is an injustice. They believe Clinton was given special treatment and should have been indicted. What you're saying is somebody like a Hillary Clinton is above and beyond the law. Any of the rest of us, anybody else in the State Department, they would have faced this. Comey all but said that. It confirmed our belief that Hillary Clinton didn't act intentionally on this, and now it's time to get to work and roll up our sleeves and start the campaigns. Moving forward, the Democrats told us this will likely be the end of the issue, while the Republicans expect this will follow Clinton through Election Day. Back to you. Thank you, Kate. The city of Sarasota is getting ready to start a major project that involves closing the Osprey Avenue Bridge for a year. The bridge will be closed on August 1st, and Osprey Avenue will be closed from Mound Street to Hillview Street. The closures are necessary so the crews can start phase one of the lift station 87 micro tunneling project. The one third around one third of the city's wastewater will be redirected from the old lift station seven to lift station 87 under Hudson Bayou. The $27 million project has been de delayed multiple times. Construction is now scheduled to be complete by 2020. Residents can learn more about this project at a public meeting. It will be held on Tuesday, July 26th at 1.30 p.m. at the SRQ Media Studio on First Street. Another proposal for affordable housing is being considered for North Sarasota. Student Accommodation Services LLC submitting a proposal to build 20 new apartments on the site of an abandoned warehouse along Central Avenue. The development will cater to college students who've had a hard time finding affordable housing. But the proposal is being met with some mixed feelings. Well, I think that it would be a good idea for the community. We need more build up around here. It's the uh, continuation of this gentrification and, and uh, just how much of this are we going to see. The proposal calls for four buildings with 20 apartments that will range from 1,500 to 2,000 square feet as well as a pool and parking. Tonight, you can voice your opinion on whether Sarasota City Commissioner should approve the opening of another restaurant and bar along Main Street. Cask and Ale wants to open next to Evie's Tavern on Main Street. Some residents there are worried the business will create more noise downtown and give it more of a nightclub feel. Commissioners have already approved the plans, but they delayed a final vote until a public hearing could be held. That hearing will start at 6 o'clock tonight at City Hall on First Street. 
For the first time in many years, Venice taxpayers could be seeing a tax increase. That increase could be going to cover increasing costs within the city, including the police and fire pension fund, and an increase in health care costs. The firefighter pension fund is due for another large payment. The city has 275 employees and nearly 800 dependents on their health care plan. The rise in prices for medication is leading to just a 14% increase. That is just for the health care. Cancers, uh, various types or uh, multiple sclerosis, um, a lot of the modern treatments now require this very expensive course of medication. I wish they had better control over it so they didn't have to raise the taxes this time, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> The Venice City Manager is putting together the final budget proposal to go before City Council for further review. Well, the temperatures uh, well exceeded 90 today. It was beautiful and sunny from the out here, you know, inside yeah. looking out, but when you're out in it, it felt quite hot, John. Oppressively hot. Plus, the humidity involved in that equation gives you a heat index of about 105, so it feels really sticky. How do you make it rain? Well, you take warm, moist air, you make it rise, cool, and condense. So if you have sinking air aloft, it's going to suppress that kind of scenario. And that's what we have across our region right now. And why, if you look across the state of Florida, you don't have a whole lot of action going on. Only one shower locally in progress, and that's around the Northport area where it's been kind of persistent. It's in the process of decay right now, so that shower is going to be dying out. But nevertheless, it hasn't moved a whole lot. So if you are under in Northport, that one location, you're getting plentiful amounts of rainfall. Elsewhere, you're wondering where the rain is. Our webcam from Van Wazel showing, well, we had a little bit of cloud cover to start the day, but we also broke into sunshine fairly early and had a lot of sun to heat the land to bring us to a current temperature in the mid-90s out there. In fact, across the entire area, 93, 94, 95 is pretty common. What's the rest of the evening look like in the days ahead? Talk about that in just a second, Scott. All right, John, thank you. A follow-up now on the suspicious death of a Sarasota woman. Sarasota police have identified as 20-year-old Alicia Veal. Her body was found Saturday evening inside a home on Mecca Drive. Veal attended Riverview High School, and according to her Facebook page, she worked at several local restaurants over the past few years, including the Daiquiri Deck, Applebee's, and GG Hookah Lounge. Police are saying very little about their investigation, including how she died. They say her death was an isolated incident and no one in the community is in danger. Lifeguards on Manatee County Beach is extremely busy over the holiday weekend. A representative for the county says from Saturday through Monday, lifeguards at Manatee and Coquina Beaches assisted with two rip current rescues. They also answered three medical calls and responded to a marine accident. Lifeguards also helped families with 13 lost children. All were found and are okay. As for Sarasota County, a lot quieter. Lifeguards did not have to rescue any swimmers and had no other major incidents. Well, our beaches are back to their pristine conditions today thanks to the hard work of a group of volunteers. Between the 4th of July celebrations and the Powerboat Grand Prix, well, beachgoers left behind a little bit of a mess. This morning, more than 100 volunteers picked up the leftover trash, everything from cigarette butts to fireworks fragments and cans. It's part of a Keep Sarasota County Beautiful's annual Liberty Litter Cleanup on Blind Pass Beach, Nokomis Beach, North Jetty Park, Lido and Siesta Beaches. One Sarasota teenager comes out weekly to clean up the beach and even started her own organization, Sarasota Ocean Preservers, three years ago. Well, we come out with a group to the beach and we come remove trash because the trash sometimes either left accidentally or purposefully. It can be very harmful to the wildlife which lives around here. And we already are not doing a big favor towards them by fishing for them and littering and having big boats running. So. Every little bit helps. We want to come out here and spread the good word and uh, just give back to the earth. Those volunteers hope efforts like these will encourage others to pick up trash and litter on our beaches on a daily basis. What you take out of there or take out to the beach, take, back take with it you. with you when you leave. You yeah. should definitely do that. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now and is going to let us know that the winning streak on Wall Street is coming to an end. And Richard, I think in a minute you're going to tell us why we have some Twinkies. I yep. think you're absolutely right about that and uh, I hope you enjoy the Twinkies by all means. And a guy named Scalzi hopefully is going to enjoy his as well. Uh, on Wall Street today, we were down from start to finish, down 164 points at the low of the day, but we just came off the best week of the year, so I don't think we have too much to complain about. The real story today was 
the bond market. Believe it or not, a 10-year U.S. Treasury now closed at a record low yield of 1.36%. 1.36. A 30-year, 2.14. What that means in English is it's a fabulous time to refinance and a terrible time if you're wanting to buy CDs. That being said, let's take a look at the closing numbers from today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down triple digits, almost 109 points, closing at 17,840.62, a loss of six-tenths of 1% on volume of 718 million shares. The NASDAQ, which was the biggest loser for the first six months of the year, biggest loser again today, down almost 40 points, more than eight-tenths of 1%, closing at 4,822.90, that on volume of 1,608,000,000 shares. The S&P made it a clean sweep for the down arrows, uh, closing at 2,088.55, a loss of just over 14 points, not quite seven-tenths of 1%. Well, as you just heard, perhaps Twinkies are back in style. Well, I don't think they went out of style, but they went out of business, believe it or not, about three or four years ago. Well, today, a company based in Los Angeles, a private equity firm, announced that they, in fact, are going to take Hostess public one more time. The deal could be done as early as this September, as in just two months from now. Total value of an IPO, an initial public offering, could be as high as $2.3 billion, and the operating profit last year was just $220 million. So whether you like Ho-Ho's, Ding Dong's, Twinkies, or whatever your favorite Hostess product might be, you've had them on the shelves, and now you're going to have them in greater quantity, probably a better delivery system, and overall, perhaps Hostess might even come up with some brand new treats just for you. We're glad for that. Yes. Yeah, you Thank you so much, I already Richard. had one on the view, so oh, wow. <laughs> number That's two. Right. <laughs> uh, and some news on Harley Davidson tonight. Yes, I wish it were good news because it's from my hometown, but the answer is no. Shares of Harley were down by almost 11 percent. There were rumors that the buyout offer might be coming for Harley, and unfortunately they proved to be just that, rumors, and that's why the stock was down by 11 percent, a big, big drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Richard, thank you so much. You're welcome. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, the dangerous algae bloom on Florida's east coast. Officials there are now scrambling for answers and investigating reports of some serious infections. An ABC 7 chief meteorologist, uh, actually, it's, it's, it's uh, John Scalzi today. He'll be back with your full weather forecast. And later in Health Smart, stress relievers, why you may be more inclined to grab salty chips than sweets. On your TV, on your computer, on your camera, on your smartphone, on your Apple Watch. And now you can get ABC7, your Suncoast News on Roku. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab for a list of fast and free downloads that deliver ABC7, your Suncoast News on the go. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Pomero Shop Furniture. After 66 years in Sarasota, we're still the leader in hard-to-find and custom-made furniture. We have literally thousands of fabrics and patterns to choose from, and our free in-home design consultation will help you create rooms in your home specific to your unique style. Our inventory changes daily, so come in today to see what's new. Plus, anything in our showroom can be part of your home the very next day. Pomero Shop Furniture, now with three locations. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. 
For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Looks like we're getting another new neighbor. Now you could be the millionaire next door. Play Monopoly Florida Edition scratch-off games with a top prize of $5 million. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. The latest in now what officials are calling an unprecedented invasion of toxic green algae in Florida. The situation is not only messy, it's dangerous. The green slimy mess along the east coast looks disgusting and it smells even worse. So far, a state of emergency has been declared in four counties with thousands of tourists canceling plans. Officials are scrambling now for some answers. The problem started more than two weeks ago after authorities released more water from Lake Okeechobee into canals, hoping to prevent flooding in the lake. But inside those waters, a large algae bloom, and cleaning it up is easier said than done. The algae globs go several inches deep, and the bloom can contain dangerous bacteria. Some residents are blaming the algae for headaches, breathing problems, and even rashes. Red eyes, scratchy throat, it can be bad. That's another reason for getting this federal um, declaration so that we could possibly seek some uh, remedies for those that they could, you know, we're treating it similar to like the BP uh, oil spill and, and looking uh, for assistance through that. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection has launched an algae bloom reporting hotline. Reported information will be relayed to the DEP, Florida Department of Health, and the FWC. It's disgusting. Yeah. It really is. And it's it just, just looks nasty. It does. And it's wreaking havoc on everyone in that, that region. Yeah. Not only people, but the marine life yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. See manatees die and mm -hmm. you know, it is an awful situation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll clear up soon. Yep. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, usually it's strong winds and, and, and heavy rains that tend to break up that mm -hmm. kind of mass. And none of that in the forecast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just hot. It is sticky and it is humid out there. Nothing really changing. However, Check out these great pictures that were taken amidst all this heat and humidity. A beautiful sunrise shot sent in from this morning from Sarasota Springs uh, from Pit Gal. I don't know if she's a barbecue expert or what, but a uh, fantastic photo, that's for sure. She's certainly a photographer. Uh, another shot sent in from Venice Beach. Beautiful shot there and beautiful series of sunset shots sent in by Megan. We sure do appreciate that. It has been Beautiful sunset weather over the last several days. Even last night when we had some scattered sprinkles and showers in our midst, we kind of worked out a fairly decent sunset in most locations. 92 currently still the air temperature and a dew point value coming in at 70, uh, 74 degrees. That's what makes it feel so sticky out there. West wind helping to drive in that humidity. It's lower level humidity really because of several different layers of the atmosphere. We have some kind of drier air that's worked its way in. So despite the fact that we have very high surface humidity bringing us feels like temperatures up around 105, the air aloft is really not conducive for a lot of showery development. So we're going to stay fairly dry over the next several days. 95 degrees, Mayaka, Wachula, Arcadia, 92 Parish, Bradenton at 93, 93 Lakewood Ranch, 89 degrees in Venice, Inglewood at 87, 91 in Northport, 92 in Punta Gorda, and 86 degrees at Longbow Key. Across the state of Florida, just not a lot of activity going on. We got a few pops of lightning here and there, but you know, usually at this time of evening, in the summertime, you'd see a line of showers stretching right down the spine of the state, either to one side or the other of the side of the state, depending on environmental winds. But certainly right now, things are very quiet across our region. We got a few showers in progress, and the, the heaviest storm is in the process of decay. That was down around the Northport area. That's producing right now just some moderate rainfall. Had some fairly heavy rainfall there for a while in this location, but I don't think see a whole lot of rain in our forecast certainly not near the coast this high pressure ridge is sitting just about parallel to the center of the state 
and that's producing aloft this kind of sinking air. So when you have that kind of sinking air, you get A, the compressional heating, which we're all experiencing right now, plus you get a suppression of shower and thunderstorm activity, like putting a lid on a pot and just not allowing it to boil. And that's kind of what's going on with our atmosphere right now. A low pressure area producing the potential for some severe weather to the upper plain states, but for us, it's all about the heat and humidity. I think that's the number one weather feature for us over the next several days. Very warm afternoons. Stay hydrated. Take it easy during the afternoons. Certainly your AC will be cranking. Light and variable winds allowing that sea breeze to start early. Push well inland. So most of the showers that we get will be in inland areas. Kind of a bit of a dry spell, I guess we could call it. For boaters, nice, smooth conditions on Bay and Inland Waters because of those light winds coming in this evening west at about 5 to 10. And the forecast for the rest of the week holds pretty much the same, about a 20% chance of showers right into, well, probably the beginning of next week when we'll bump up the rain chances slightly. Back to you. John, thank you. Now to Suncoast Traffic Watch. Right now there's a crash in Venice. It's on I-75 in the southbound lanes right near the River Road exit, and as you can see, it is backing up traffic as you head south on the interstate, uh, south of Venice, just before you get to Northport. Haley? Thank you, Scott. In health news tonight, being bullied or spending an excessive amount of time on the Internet could increase the risk of teen suicides. That's according to a new study by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Researchers found that spending more than five hours a day online could be a sign that a teen is struggling. They found a, quote, pathological level of Internet use could indicate higher levels of depression and the likelihood of suicide. Though in some cases, the Internet, internet actually helped teens feel more accepted. Signs that a teen may be at risk of suicide include eating disorders, sleep problems, apathy, moodiness, hostility, withdrawal, and feelings of doom. Many studies have linked sugar consumption to cancer, so what's the connection? Eating too much sugar can cause your body to produce more of a hormone known as insulin-like growth factor, or IGF, which cancer researchers say seems to stimulate cell growth and inhibit cell death. New healthy cells are supposed to grow in the body while bad cells die. IGF blocks the signal that tells cells to die, allowing cancer to proliferate. High sugar diets are also contributing to inflammation, which can cause cellular damage and drive the growth of tumors. Also, sugary diets lead to weight gain, and obesity is a major risk factor for cancer. There might be a physiological reason why many reach for salty snacks over sweets, even though we were just talking about sugar, when their stress levels are rising. Animal research from the University of Florida suggests consuming salt can actually decrease the amount of stress hormones like cortisol that are released. And it's likely that similar reduction takes place in humans, too. It may be only raising your sodium levels by about 1 to 2 percent that can that can get you there with about a personal size bag of chips and make you feel a little bit better. It may also raise your feel good oxytocin levels in the process. Coming up next, NASA is hoping to unlock new mysteries about our solar system. What scientists hope to learn about Jupiter, plus a fish that looks like an eel where this transparent creature was found when we come back. Hurricane season is here, so when severe weather threatens, count on the official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We bring you storm warnings faster and with more detail than ever before. And track storms right down to your neighborhood. On air, online, and on your mobile device, turn to the official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. 
Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. After a five-year journey, the Juno spacecraft has finally reached Jupiter. The spacecraft entered the gassy planet's orbit last night, traveling at 130,000 miles an hour. Juno was launched from Cape Canaveral back in 2011. It will now circle the planet, collecting data 37 times over the next 20 months. Scientists hope the information will help them understand the beginnings of our solar system. NASA considers the trip a major breakthrough. It may look easy uh, when you watch it, but behind the scenes, there's a tremendous amount of work that goes on. There's a tremendous amount of pride and dedication and passion that this team has put into this. This is a one-way trip for Juno. The mission will end in February of 2018 when Juno is expected to crash into Jupiter. It slithers like an eel, but it's actually a fish. NOAA explorers captured images of this ghost fish. It's the first time a fish like this has been spotted alive. Ghost fish can grow up to 10 centimeters long and have transparent skin and recessed eyes that lack pigment. The fish was found in the waters off the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest part of the world's oceans. Wow. Forget a joystick, a microscope is needed for this version of Pac-Man. Norwegian researchers created this microscopic Pac-Man project to study how protozoans and these other little microorganisms behave. The 3D maze is a one millimeter in diameter. It resembles the environment that these creatures encounter, minus the ghosts and Inky and Blinky and Clyde. You know, it's not the full on game here, but it gives you an idea of how they move. I guess so. It's, it's a little bit weird. It they, is. They move quickly, I'll tell you that, based on that video right there. I couldn't catch them if I were playing the game, I know that. No, but we think about all these microorganisms that we have like on our body, just moving around all the time. Yeah, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I know, me either. <laughs> well, still to come on your Suncoast News, a utility project that involves the entire Longbow Key area. Why burying lines underground could cost some homeowners more than others. The story coming up next. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care right at home. That's Chuck, proud homeowner, regular do-it-yourselfer. Today he's attempting an electrical repair. This is Pablo. He's an electrician with Mr. Sparky. How's he doing, Pablo? Terrible, Mike. Yeah. What Chuck doesn't realize is that almost 68,000 home fires are caused every year by electrical problems. What? If he doesn't have the proper tools and training, he's liable to start the next one. A little help here! That's what I'm talking about. Call 888 8 Sparky. You uh, might want to write that number down. <laughs>
Discover the biggest savings of the year on some of America's favorite vehicles during the Drive and Discover event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Get four-wheeler magazines 4x4 of the decade, a new Jeep Wrangler as low as $25,999, or drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for just $19,999. Get a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Pomero Shop Furniture. After 66 years in Sarasota, we're still the leader in hard-to-find and custom-made furniture. We have literally thousands of fabrics and patterns to choose from, and our free in-home design consultation will help you create rooms in your home specific to your unique style. Our inventory changes daily, so come in today to see what's new. Plus, anything in our showroom can be part of your home the very next day. Pomero Shop Furniture, now with three locations. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it.